Hi, welcome to a short video on the practical usage of Microsoft Power Query and Power Pivot. So I've received a, a typical problem on my website, which I'd like to blog about and uh, show as to what steps have I followed via this short video. So for other MS Excel solutions, you may visit my website, ashishmathur.com. So here's what the data looks like. There's a projected raw data sheet with about uh, with, a, with a small number of rows, so about 23 or rows in number and columns all, all the way from A to S. Now, uh, while the other information here is not as relevant as column H, um, column L and column M. So in column H, I have the resource names. In column L, I have the filter dropdown, as you can see, hourly and rate. And for each of these two um, types that I have over here, I have the numbers in the matrix column. Now, I have a similar data set on the accrued raw data sheet as well. Structurally, both sheets are the same. They are the same number of columns, though, of course, the number of rows are different across both. Here, too, as you can see, I have a resource name over there. And in column L, I have under the type column hourly and rate. In the metric column, I have the corresponding numbers. Now, from these two worksheets, the user wants to actually create a desired sheet that looks as follows. A five column, a six column data set wherein in column A, I see all the unique names from both, from both the worksheets the projected hourly numbers, projected rate, accrued hourly numbers, accrued rate, and the total dollar difference. The total dollar difference has been further conditionally formatted to show the unfavorable variances in red and the favorable ones in green. So the first and foremost challenge over here is to actually be able to create this one pivot table snapshot that you see from two different worksheets, number one. Second, to actually somehow generate a unique list of names from both the worksheets. So some names over here appear only on the projected raw data sheet, while others appear on the accrued raw data sheet. So one also has to somehow dynamically uh, get a unique list of names from both the worksheets. <laughs> Last but not least, the result ought to be dynamic, which means that if I were to add data by rows to any one of the two worksheets that you saw over there, the result over here should refresh when I right click and refresh. So here's my take on solving this problem. I've used a combination of Microsoft Power Query to first append data from the two worksheets into a third one and then I have written formulas in Power Pivot to actually generate all these numbers. So here's what I did first and foremost. I actually selected the data set over here and initially, so this wasn't a table so let me just get it back to how the range exactly was. It was a simple data set um, and I'll convert this back into a range as well so that I can show you all the steps from scratch. Okay, so I go to the projected raw data sheet. I select the data set over here. I convert this into a table. And I assign it a name. Let's say projected. Right. The next thing I do is I go to Power Query. I say Excel data from table there. And um, so as of now, I don't need to do anything with this. So what I'll do is I'll simply go to close and load, close and load to, I'll simply say, I want to create only a connection so far. I click on load on the right hand side. It shows me this one um, work. There's one query in power query called projected the load of which is disabled. And I do something for my similar for my accrued sheet as well. So I select this portion. I convert this into a table and I give it a name accrued. Likewise, I go to power query. I go to from table. Since I need to do nothing with this right now, I click on close and load to I create only a connection and I click on load. So I've essentially just, you may say linked both these individual worksheets data to uh, two tables in power query. And now I'm going to create that one um, appended data set from both these individual data sets. So under Power Query, I click on Append. I go to Projected. Select the primary table. That's projected. Select the table to append with the primary table. That's accrued. I click on OK over here. And here, let me just call this final table. Uh, one thing that I need to ensure over here is that the matrix column should not be a text column. So if I click here, you see the data type is any. I need to change this to decimal numbers so that the power pivot recognizes this as a numeric column. And now I'll simply transfer 
this appended data set to the power pivot window. So I click, click on only create connection and I check the box there which says add this data to the data model. I click on load. On the right hand side, you'll see something called final table which says 49 rows loaded, which is basically all the, all the rows of um, the accrued data and the projected data worksheet. Now the one last step that's left over here is to actually create the unique listing of all my resource names, right? So for that, I right click here and I simply say, um, I want to duplicate the query over here. Now, once I go here, I click on edit. I'm only concerned with the resource name. So I right click and I say, remove other columns. I right click and I say, remove duplicates. Let's give this a name called resource. Close and load to that's disabled for me right now. That's because I had copied the query. Um, and therefore, since the previous one was load to pivot, this also remains load to pivot itself. I click on close and load. So it says 14 rows loaded. Now, as a next step, I go to the power pivot window. I click on manage and you'll see a final table over there and a resources table over there. Now, I need to create a connection between final table and the resources table there. So I click on the resource name here. I go to design. I say create relationship. Table name is final table, which is the tab that I'm on right now. The column name is resource name. Here I say resource. It automatically picks up that name because it's the same as the name of the current table. I click on create and now a relationship has been established between the two. Thereafter, I actually on the home tab under pivot table, clicked on pivot table there. I say new worksheet over there. And here, the very first thing I do is I actually go and get a listing of all my unique resources. And for the other columns that you see in the desired data sheet, um, I've actually written DAX formulas, which I cannot show you a video for right now because you have to write those formulas. So you can access those formulas in the workbook, which I've uploaded on my website. I'll share the link at the bottom of this video. And so these are the steps that I followed. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thank you.